Butera Pelican. Originally blended by Germains, apparently is nowadays being produced by Peter Stockaby in Denmark. Very, 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 very fine ribbon cut. Okay? It's uh, very easy to pack uh, and you might clog your pipe uh, when tamping or if you're not paying attention and trying to rip down, you know, and drying this a little bit. Contains Cyprian Latakia, Orientals, Turkish and Virginias. <clears throat> The cherry light, uh, the beginning, is slightly sweet, fragrant Latakia, easy on the retro hail. The Latakia sometimes gives space to the Virginias to shine with a little grassiness. Orientals show a small tingly sensation on the nose, but none on the tongue or other parts of the mouth. Smoking cool with a very short finish. Uh, now, during the 5 meter mark and the 10 meter mark, I uh, noticed some characteristics on almost every bowl that I smoke, so I would like to share with you guys. On five minute mark, uh, it's around that, okay? Spiciness of the entrails, of the orientals start to ramp up, taking away some of the very interesting balance that was happening before. Um, it was easier to pick up all the ingredients, in ingredients before and now it, it gets a little complicated because the blend starts to present a, a, a uniform taste instead of like you know, being you receiving input from the leaf separately. The smokiness of the Larakia is now less present and the Orientals start to get a little in the way of the Virginias. During the 10 minute mark, the finish is now way longer, during uh, lasting for almost 30 seconds. Leaving the general taste of smokiness on the tongue. But the overall sweetness is coming and going between puffs. I also feel a slightly fruitness uh, behind the Latakia. I think might be might be, ca be caused by the Latakia. It's a plum kind of fruitness uh, taste, okay? It's a dark fruit taste. Approaching the middle of the bowl, the spice spiciness starts to reach, reaching the whole mouth as well as the nose and the retrohale. So you feel the sensation of eating spicy food now. The Virginias are now way on the back. The overall profile of the blend dies down significantly and it becomes harder to identify the individual taste of the leaves. So we have a progressive, uh, that the problem that we had on the, on the, on the five minute mark starts to progressively increase and will increase until the, the, the bow is gone, okay? The last third, I started to taste something that reminded me a little bit of darker Virginia. Some, uh, some of the experience that I had with my Clarion 5100 and also curry tuck at the, at the end the both of those blends get a little stronger and you get a very rich and dark taste of the Virginia's coming and i noticed the very same experience here the smokiness from the Latakia is slightly more present leaving a finish with a touch of bitterness and the spiciness now comes and goes sometimes with a slight harshness so it becomes a little bit weird to control the cherry at the, at the th third, the last third. And so if you puff a little bit too much, but get, you know, get a good drag, you might get a little harshness as well. The last third is also curiously be, uh, uh, longer, lasting longer than the others. And the Virginia's lost place for a gener so general woodsy taste. The overall experience, Pelican is a well-made blend. It's very easy to control the temperature of the cherry, which makes this blend even easier on the tongue. I would classify its flavor strength as a medium and its nicotine content as a solid medium for most people. If you have more tolerance, you might classify this as a mild to medium nick hit. This blend smokes faster than most of the Latakia Ford blends I normally smoke, probably due to the kind of cut. This is not a very complex blend, but I will also believe that it might be a little overwhelming if you smoke this the whole day. The first third is by far my favorite part of the smoking of a smoking pelican. You can easily distinguish between flavors, between the flavor pro profiles of the leaves. The last third becomes lasts a little longer, and that that be, uh, ability to distinguish the flavor becomes a little harder, and is a little unfortunate because the last third was my least favorite part of the experience. I would not recommend this blend any more than I would recommend Nightcap or anything of the Frogmorton series by McClellan's. For me, the hype is based only in the lack of availability 
not by some unique experience this blend provides. So I do think that it's a completely hype because of the hype and I do not I did not feel or enjoy any uh, unique experience that might be worth paying a little bit more price or going a little bit out of your way to get a uh, tin of Pelican. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and um, stay in tune for my next review of probably Penzance. Take care, bye bye.